here we'll, we'll have uh, Deanna Lorraine, a uh, California uh, Republican who ran for Congress uh, in 2020 and lost. Um, she is going to project all her uh, fears and desires onto the Black Lives uh, Matters uh, uh, group and uh, pretty much let everybody know how she feels. Um, in my opinion, she is projecting a whole lot. Um, she'll, she's, she claims that, uh, what, uh, the Black Lives Matter is looking to force white people to worship black people as gods and to apologize for being white and a lot of other insane things. It's good this person didn't get um, into uh, a high position of government. There is enough crazy people in government. We talk about the insanity of what this Black Lives Matter agenda really is, and it, it, it is not Black Lives Matter. It's Black Lives Superior. That's what this is, make no mistake. They don't want to be treated as equals. They're already treated as equals in America. They want us to bow down to them. They want us to grovel to them. They want to apologize if we are white for a, 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 the color of our skin that we can't control. So that's what they want to do. And they want us to treat them like gods while we uh, get lashings, you know, whippings and lashings and, uh, and floggings and she's afraid that uh, black people are going to end up um, uh, you know uh, creating uh, Jim Crow style laws and making uh, white people act the same way white people made black people act during the Grim Jim Crow laws and I find it like horrid that she's trying to use like uh, imagery of slavery back in the past as you know that this is going to happen to white people be afraid be very afraid and it's like this is not even what black lives matter is looking to do um, they are it's just another civil rights um, uh, movement where people are looking to actual to get actual fair treatment because even though the uh, bills uh, passed uh, during the civil rights movement got passed uh, black people still haven't been treated as equals he got the um, the horrendous uh, police murders where black people are murdered at a about like four times as uh, much as uh, white people we still got a lot of re uh, reverse redlining going on where uh, various banks and stuff will charge POCs uh, with a higher interest rate. Um, uh, those are two examples right off at the moment that I can think of. But there's still, still uh, unfair treatment going on and are ashamed of ourselves, right? That's what they want, let's make no mistake. We need to tell the truth. We have to be brave enough to tell the truth. I don't care about the... Okay, she she says, you know, people need to be brave enough to tell the truth. Well, uh, there's a difference between telling the truth and, you know, fabricating a bunch of paranoid ideas and spewing them on the internet for your other crazy followers to say you may think it's the truth but you know reality uh, tells otherwise social and professional consequences at this point I know that there are going to be many for me and I might get banned on all social media I really hope to God I don't but I but I might and I might not ever go on Fox News again I might not ever I don't know work again but that's a really sad thing, but we have to fight back. We cannot keep apologizing for crimes we never committed, like the color of our skin, or for a man, for his masculinity. We can't apologize for being 
uh, a conservative. We can't apologize for saying what it is, for calling truth out and saying black lives matter is is ridiculous because all lives Okay, before we get into the all lives matter bullshit, um, no one's asking white people to apologize for being white. Uh, black lives matter is just getting it just wants everybody to be to acknowledge the fact that there is systematic racism in the United States. I mean, it's quite obvious, and it's been happening ever since the founding of the United States, where black people were slaves to white people, and then you had uh, Jim Crow laws, which came about shortly after uh, slaves were freed, which. Uh, made it hard for black people to uh, uh, get good jobs, to own property, uh, to sometimes be able to vote, and various other things, which um, accumulatively has led to uh, black families being poorer compared to their white counterparts. Um, and then She's going to go into a bunch of, uh, you know, all lives matter, why don't black people care about abortion, or black on black crime, or black cops that die. Uh, no one is saying uh, that all that black lives matter cares about is cops killing people. I mean, just because she... Uh, doesn't really care about black on black crime and stuff doesn't mean that uh, communities of uh, people of color don't uh, talk about that or try to stop it um, which is which could be it's a simple solution to help uh, end the uh, crime that seems to happen a lot in areas where there's a lot of black people and that is help black communities uh, uh, rise up out of poverty because poverty is a reason for majority of the crimes. If they had better access to resources and stuff, um, better education, better job opportunities and all that, um, less police violence towards uh, black people, yeah, you, you would totally see a difference in uh, crime statistics lives matter. All lives are equal and all lives matter. And also police lives matter too. If black lives all really mattered, then why are you guys not talking about the black lives like the black police officers that have been killed by rioters over the last week? Why don't their lives matter? They're black. Why don't black lives matter when it comes to abortions? Why don't black lives matter when it comes to black on black crimes? Okay? Because it's a, it's a hoax. Black Lives Matter, it's not about that. It's about power, and it's about Black Lives Superior, and it's about ushering in a new totalitarian leftist-run government. And, of course, it's about stealing this next election. Oh, yeah. Um, she's going to say... Um, uh, Black Lives Matter, the movements only happen when there is an election... Even though the Black Lives Matter movement uh, was started uh, during Obama's administration, during uh, uh, at what July July something twenty thirteen, so no, it's not just during um, the elections that uh, people protest uh, police brutality. It's been going on for years, and these people know it. I mean. For the most part, people like her were mocking uh, people like uh, like uh, Colin Kirkpatrick who were kneeling and everybody else who uh, uh, kneeled or uh, did some kind of protest. Because um. Black Lives Matter only seem to matter every four years when there's a major presidential election.